All right, thank you all for coming out today. It's uh, very much appreciated to have all of you here. It's uh, been a difficult year with the pandemic, with all the restrictions we've had in place. And so I think this is the first thing that we've done in a very long time as a group. So we're very, very pleased to have everybody here. The Boathouse brings together several community groups and uh, the funding sources included. And those include the city of Kenmore, King County, our own one and only council member, Rod Dembowski, um, Senator David Frocht, uh, Representative Jerry Paulette, and Representative Javier Valdez. Um, also, Dr. Michelle Reed and the school board, Bob Swain, Jacqueline McCourtney, uh, David uh, Kogan, Sandy Hayes, and Amy Cast. And the George R. Pocock Foundation. And last but not least, one of the main occupiers of this building, the Kenmore Rowing Club and Fundraising Committee. Um, I'd also like to recognize our own city staff, Rob Sayer McCord. Rob, if you're here, could you raise your hand? There he is. And our own Community Development Director, Mrs. Debbie Bent. Debbie, raise your hand. We all want to see you. And the Development Services Team. All of the others from the Development Services Team, if they're here, please let it be known. This is a 2,800-square-foot uh, boathouse on the northern uh, edge of Rhododendron Park. And the boathouse is the next stage of the Rhododendron Park development plan and this comes on the on the heels of the walkway that you walk down to get here the boardwalk and also um, the uh, float out there for launching hand-powered watercraft this brings together the state boat launch uh, across the way for the motor powered craft and this side it will be for the hand water powered craft so it brings support, a brings together a large part of our community. We've done a lot of surveys in Kenmore, and every one of those surveys, the public has asked for more access to the water. So this helps fulfill that. Um, the boathouse will also be home to all four high schools in the North Shore School District. Um, we're all really excited about that. We are going to have some very competitive programs, and I think we've got three years left to go before we have a national champion, according to Michelle Reed. And I'm really looking forward to that. And so when we go out of here, when, when the crews go out of here, you can look right across the way at the competition that you're just going to smoke. So <laughs> we're all excited about that. Um, so the, uh, the Kenmore Rowing Club is going to be active here, providing opportunities for the rowing club in Kenmore. And there are reduced and zero cost scholarships for those that are financially challenged. So we continue to try to provide opportunities for the children in our area. Um, and high school rowers, who are interested really need to see their athletic director because the programs are always running, all already running, and we're really looking for uh, for rowers out here to uh, to be competitive. <laughs> the boathouse is going to provide a staging platform for Learn to Row programs as well as southern uh, summer youth rowing programs uh, beginning this year, summer of 2021. And in addition, there's going to be storage and repair facilities here. And the boathouse contains coaching and training and office spaces, as well as a balcony overlooking the Sammamish River, or as some people like to say, Sammamish Slough. Um, I would like to introduce all the speakers that are going to speak to you today. So just raise your hand. Councilmember Rod Dembowski, Bob Swain, North Shore School Board President, Dr. Michelle Reed, our national champion, and um, Susanna Blana, the Kenmore Rowing Club Executive Director. And first of all, 
let's go ahead and recognize our one and own council member, Rod Dembowski. Got a sanitation program here. Okay, okay. I'm fully vaccinated. How many of you are vaccinated? Thank you, King County Public Health. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Mayor Baker. Good afternoon, everybody. It's nice to be in Kenmore by the lake, and it's great to be at a facility that's going to get Kenmoreans on the lake, right? Um, look, Rowing, I understand, I haven't done a lot of it, but it is a team sport and it's better to row in the same direction, generally, and coordinated. And these things, these projects don't happen by accident. They take a lot of teamwork. And Mayor Baker, I want to say, I think has a tremendous team uh, on his city council. And I'd like you to join me in giving a round of applause to the council members I see that are here, and that's council member Herbig. I think I'm gonna go by seniority here after the mayor. Council member Nigel Herbig, Deborah Shrevnik, uh, Angela Kugler, the newest council member right here, uh, uh, council member File, and council member Joe Marshall. Give them a round of applause. Oh, who do we, I can't tell with the mask. Oh, Mel council member O'Kane, is that you? These masks are killing me. And council member Melanie O'Kane, what a team they've got working for Kenmore, bringing it into the 21st century. Really a lot of good things happening here. One of which was the walkways and waterways uh, initiative that, Council Mayor, or that Mayor Baker mentioned, which really uh, put in the walkway there, put in the float, and was supported by Kenmore residents. And uh, Council Member Herbig had a big lead role in uh, coming up with that, advancing it a couple of years. And I bet you're gonna see it renewed because it's been very popular, right, Nigel? <laughs> Listen, uh, I have a favorite quote by President Kennedy when it comes to water waste uh, and water, and a lot of you will remember he was quite a sailor uh, up there in New England, and um, he gave some brief remarks at a dinner for the America's Cup on September 14th, 1962, and this is almost, I always thought, poetic, but he said, uh, I really don't know why it is that all of us are so committed to the sea, except I think it is because in addition to the fact that the sea changes and the light changes and the ships change, it's because we all came from the sea. And it's an interesting biological fact. I always wondered if this was true. Dr. Reed, maybe one of your bright students could check this. It's an interesting biological fact that all of us have in our veins the exact same percentage of salt in our blood that exists in the ocean. Seems plausible. <laughs> Um, and that exists in the ocean, and therefore we have salt in our blood, in our sweat, and in our tears. And we are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch it, we are going back from whence we came. I have this incredible vision, which you all are going to fulfill, of bringing young people and middle-aged folks like me and older folks onto the water and back to the sea, if you will, to connect with the natural environment and to become one with it and work together as a team and really be the best that uh, this community has to offer and starting it with our young folks uh, in the high schools. We're looking forward to seeing the Vikings fight the Falcons, outroar the Cougars and win against the Jaguars. I'm not sure which of those is going to be the fastest on water team, <laughs> superintendent, but I think it'll be great. Listen, the county was uh, really privileged to be a part of this project. We put in about $611,000. It really is uh, the community's money, though. That is a, a youth and, and amateur recreation fund that has paid for by car rental tax. And you can imagine last year that was way down. But companies like Hertz going bankrupt, nobody's running cars. We're, we're, we're restoring those funds and fulfilling it. And I look forward to bringing some more of those dollars to help with the operations here to make sure we can have young people that maybe can't afford dues or memberships or equipment to get on the water uh, and have everybody be able to participate in this, uh, this great, great opportunity. And I really want to just say, Ken Moore, you're doing a great job uh, leading the way of connecting your community back to the water and making sure there's public access for everybody, not just those few that can afford uh, to have it. So thank you very much for the opportunity to partner with you and let's do some rowing. It is a new world. Okay, yeah. This. yeah, sanitation, thank you so much. Well, thanks for uh, having uh, myself out and other representatives of the North Shore School Board. 
Um, on behalf of the board, um, thank you so much to the city of Kenmore, city council, Rob Carlinci and the staff, um, King County and everyone else that partnered, uh, the rowing club that partnered in this project. Um, it's just such a perfect example of especially of a small community coming together and just creating a gem on the water. Um, you know, the tradition in this part of the country has a long rowing tradition, right? Way back. And um, it's very exciting to us as a district. And I should say this has been part of our district mission has been led by Dr. Reed. Superintendent Reed um, took this on as a, well, we have a building and we were happy to you know, donate $250,000 towards the construction. But Dr. Reed had a vision when she came here about equity and her mantra is really equity. And as you all know, rowing has not been a, it's kind of an elite sport, like some other things. And so most kids don't have access to that unless they have access to their funds to do private rowing clubs. And so this is a, this is just a great example of where we are as a board and as a district to provide better opportunities for our students to experience more in life, to get out, out here on the water and to, and then to share this facility with the city and the rowing clubs. Um, it's just, it's just really a pleasure to see. So um, again, thank you so much for being here and for allowing us to partner with the city of Kenmore and others. And uh, we're really looking forward to having our teams on the water soon. Thank you. overkill I know but that's okay <laughs> overkill is probably not the best word <laughs> anyhow thanks for being here everybody this is so exciting and as Mayor Baker said we only have three years left to realize our national championship um, but we are going to do it right you have to hope it's not a plan <laughs> and uh, we have a world-class facility in North Shore Blue I might add um, so thank you, Mayor, to make sure we had the North Shore blue color. Um, I will also like to recognize Matt Lacey. I thought I saw Matt come in. Matt in the back from the Pocock Foundation, if we could give Matt a hand. Um, I know that uh, Matt and I have partnered, or Pocock Foundation, in another district, and we're starting to see those scholarships happen for kids. And it's not just about the opportunity to row. Crew is the number one scholarship sport for women athletes right now in this country. For every three girls rowing in high school, there is a scholarship, and that's huge. So I think having that vision is so important. I also want to thank the vision of our board, Director Cass, Director McGordy, President Swain, Director Hayes, Director Kogan, for just keeping that fire and that light lit around our equitable opportunities and access work. This is a huge um, endeavor. I couldn't be more excited. Deb Shrebnik was a key as well around those conversations and just so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we're going to have to have an argument about where to put the national championship trophy, Mayor. Um, I'm thinking the boardroom, the boardroom, City Hall. I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> Success can have such, uh, you know, fond memories. Anyhow, Partnerships are everything. Learning happens best in community, and this community is strong and getting stronger. So thanks so much. <laughs> All right, hi. Um, I am Susanna Blano with the Kenmore Rowing Club. And I just want to start. <laughs> uh, I want to start by thanking the city of Kenmore and the school district, the North Shore School District, and the George Pocock Rowing Foundation for the amazing partnership that we have built over this past couple of years. Um, it's been quite a journey, and it's been just wonderful to work together. Um, and also, I want to thank them for the dedication and the energy to actually make this boathouse a reality. It took a lot. <laughs> Thank you. I was raised by a single mother. Uh, she put herself through school while also bringing up me and my two sisters. Uh, she often had to work two or three jobs while also carrying a full course load. Um, for a time we relied on food stamps, uh, we lived in a tiny apartment, uh, then a trailer court. And she 
made the most of every single dollar that she ever earned. She made sure that we had the opportunities that she had not had, uh, but still there were activities that we simply could not afford. So as executive director of the Kenmore Rowing Club, it's my mission to make the sport of rowing accessible to everyone in all life situations, youth and adults. Not only is the sport of rowing absolutely exhilarating and challenging, it also offers opportunities to build leadership skills, camaraderie, and personal and shared accomplishment. Um, and I just wanna close by inviting all of you here and everyone who will ever see this video to come out and join in creating this beautiful community of rowers on the North Shore. Thank you. We are also gonna be able to hear from Jen Gibbons. Um, she's, she's the new executive director of the George Pocock Rowing Foundation. Thanks, Jen. Good afternoon, my name is Jen Gibbons. I'm the executive director of the George Pocock Rowing Foundation. Uh, I first wanna kick it off by thanking my predecessor, Matt Lacey, and all the great work that he has done to bring this boathouse to life, as well as Patrick on our staff. I, I believe Patrick was helping put the racks in this past week, so it's you know always the people that actually get stuff done that you gotta make sure that you thank, because they get things done. So I'm grateful to be here late to the party today, a little bit late to the party for the Kenmore Boathouse. I arrived at the foundation in the fall of last year, um, but I'm just so delighted to always see that we have communities that are embracing our sport and they understand how life-changing our sport can be for young people. So at the foundation, we believe that rowing changes lives. I am one of the recipients of those many scholarships that someone mentioned earlier um, and thinking about rowing as a phenomenal sport for young women and for all young athletes. So we want to continue to contribute and support this boathouse in any way that can be helpful. And I'm just excited to see that the community has embraced this in such a significant way. Um, I'm from the Midwest and rowing is really not as big of a deal there. So every boathouse is a really big deal. You have a lot of boathouses here and I'm so happy to see that and so happy to, to figure out how we can continue to grow our sport through capacity of having boathouses, through scholarships and making sure that everyone who wants to row can row. Um, and not just through scholarships, but through transportation, swim lessons, whatever the barriers are to getting into our sport. We've been doing this work for 36 years and really delighted to be a part of your community. So thank you for inviting me to be a part of it and we look forward to all that comes ahead. Thanks so much. So, so nobody thinks that we are sliding Representative Valdez here. He has recorded a video for us. He it's going to be presented along with the video of this that we are doing. And uh, we appreciate you being here today. And we really appreciate all of your support throughout this project. He's been a tremendous leader in uh, Olympia. And he has really led the charge for Kenmore. Uh, he cares about his district, and we're very, very appreciative in him and his service, and we will not forget about him. Um, so, if I can have the speakers come up with me, and there's Stephanie, we need somebody to hold the ribbon. <laughs> need a couple. And yes. the council, yeah, please come up here too. To side of the I'll ribbon. I'll hold the other the side. Mayor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mayor, don't run with yeah. those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Come around the back side. Really pleasure to meet you too. Mask on or mask off photo? This can be. What do we want? A mask on or mask off photo? There. Don't cut her fingers, Dan. I'm not, but this is just okay, hold really hold tricky. You know, look, look at the photo. I know, but I've got to get it positioned right. Okay, what the heck? Are we ready? Oh, Don't pull oh. down! Oh. 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 Very mayoral. Sure. Yeah.
know exactly. French, you know. <laughs> a nice <laughs> bottle of French champagne. <laughs> did, did I just win the derby? Yes. <laughs>